hashtag Team CCI International, hashtag CCI NEJC, bad drip. What up, Mr. Anderson? Still wearing this t-shirt. I wore it to work today. I'm going to continue wearing this t-shirt and, uh, you know, at least get a couple weeks out of it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a month. Two thumbs up. Um, you know, out here, I figured I'd make a video. There's There's been a, a huge, you know, push and whatnot. I guess people are getting back into tube mods, which, you know, is kind of weird. There, there's different, uh, you know, trends and um, dick licking and, and ass kissing and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It, it goes from hemo to tube mods and this mod and that mod and regulated and blah, blah, blah. A lot of people like to make the statement that a battery can only handle this, or a battery can only handle that, or or blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? You should build this type of coil because this is going to give you the best flavor. And they really have no idea what they're talking about. When I was told about battery safety, I did my research. I checked out what the batteries were. I checked out what they were actually used for and what kind of load would actually be you know, pushed through these batteries. When I found out this information, you know, military style lasers and stuff like that, range finders, um, you know, a, a lot of different things, computers and, and stuff like that, things that are drawing real power. We're not drawing real power unless you get way down in the ohms, okay? I'm using Samsung 25Rs, okay? I got them from Illumin.com. It's Illumin.com is where you want to go for batteries, okay? That like, I mean, you can get them from just about anywhere, but if you want a guaranteed authentic battery, Illumin.com. There's also CloudyCollaborations.com. There's there's a host of places you can get batteries and whatnot. But on the scheme of only build the point two, that's safe. That's silliness. Okay. What we're talking about when we're talking about safety is not draining a battery past 3.0, okay? You don't want to do that because you're drawing too much power from the battery and dipping it too, too far into its reserve, okay? When you press the button, you usually go down to 3.7, 4.2 nominal, okay? You know, maximum capacity, that's where we charge to, 4.2. When you push the button, depending on the voltage drop of your mod, you're going down a certain amount okay and then it's firing depending upon your load okay now I'm running 0.08 in uh, this is a FU Hatton silver glacier v2 0.08 22 gauge or 23 gauge dragon wire now some people are gonna say oh that's not safe and they've been saying that to me for the past couple years the problem is I only hit a battery at this load maybe 20 times Okay, it takes the battery from 4.2 to about 3.6, 3.5-ish, okay? I've learned that that's about as far as I can take a battery, okay? And, and that's the way it is. And, and I literally do take four to four and a half second inhales every single time, which, you know, that's actually quite a bit of energy being poured through the wire. The, the actual sheer mass of your wire is one of those factors you have to factor into your quote unquote battery safety, okay? This is 23 gauge wire, it's a dual parallel setup, or in essence, a quad coil, okay? Because that's all a dual parallel is, it's a quad coil put together, mated together. Now, depending on what gauge wire you use, you have a bigger bucket or you know a bigger glass to fill with energy, okay? The thicker the gauge wire, the more energy it takes to fill the wire first and then get an energetic heat loss, which is, you know, what vaporizes the juice, okay? That's the way it is. This is this is HVAC 101, okay? And anyone that actually is competent with electricity and with resistance wire and stuff like that and actually building resistance coils, I've been doing this since I was like four or five years old, okay? The, the moment my parents gave me an electricity like kit, okay, from Radio Shack, I began figuring out how to play with electricity. One of my uh, all-time favorites, you know, someone that I look up to even now, he's been dead for a long time, Nikola Tesla. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not a, a practitioner of the current electrical theory because they're, it, it's all theory, it's all bullshit, okay? I, I go back in time because that's where you should go, okay? After, after 34, 35, 1934, 35, there has been no real electrical research done other than super secret stuff like CERN and, and stuff like that, where they, they're actually breaching, CERN right now is breaching 13.5 TeV 
um, on the outside, which is pretty intense. If you if you understand what that means, okay, it's it's one of those things. This is a fresh battery, by the way. Let's blow some clouds. Man, fresh wick, Farley snarly sauce. Just having a little bit of fun, you know? If you want to be safe with your batteries, what you need to do is actually practice real safety. You want to take a battery, put it in your mech mod, okay, with your build, you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, whatever, and then you're going to vape on it. When you notice a drop off, and you will. If you don't, then you're incompetent and you shouldn't be using a mech mod. You should be using a regulated device. But if you notice the drop off, then you want to take the battery out and you put it on your charger, which you should be using a digital charger. Okay, they're way too accessible now. Use a digital charger and you look at it and you go, okay, it went down. I got this many hits off a battery and it went down this far. That's as many as I can get on that build with this gauge wire. And you have to remember that. Write it down if you need to. Put it on a card. Put it in your wallet or your pocket or whatever with your vape gear. That's what you need to do. That's how you're safe with a battery, okay? That, like, you can't just go for, oh, I can build to this level because of the battery and this guy said it. No, you need to do your own research. You need to do your own fact-checking. And you need, you need to do this. I mean, I, I did this shit two years ago. This is a 70-30 juice, by the way. It's not exactly a cloud-chasing juice, but it tastes really, really good. Especially at this, at this heat level, okay? And it's warm, okay? I've got my airflow choked off to one and a half holes on this Glacier V2. Um, you know, I like the heat. I choke off the airflow, I get a longer draw, it fills my lungs and stuff like that. I feel a little bit of stretching and I enjoy myself, okay? Battery safety is very, very fickle. A lot of people have a lot of different opinions and stuff like that, but you can take it from me because I've actually put in the time, I mean, two solid years of doing this at this level, okay? Most people can't say that. A lot of people say they're cloud chasers and they are after a fashion, but in the beginning of my cloud chasing journey, I figured out that I want to be a professional cloud chaser, okay? And I've been a, a professional cloud chaser all of my life. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ with all of my heart, and I'm searching for the day when he breaches the clouds. And every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are, what walk of life you are. Even though in the Quran, it says that Jesus Christ is the word of God. If he's the word of God, and the word of God was with him in the beginning, and it says this in the Quran, then that means Jesus Christ is God. Not Allah, okay? Not Muhammad, because Muhammad's dead, okay? It even says that Jesus Christ rose from the dead. It's one of those things. Again, do your research, and you'll, you'll find out these things. I mean, in all honesty, you know, you, you have to read and show yourself approved. Otherwise, what are you doing with your life? If you're only looking to people that are professing something, like a professor, then you're a fool because they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They really, really don't. They've been taught, okay? If you've had to been taught to do something, like I've not been taught how to do anything. I am, I am self-taught. I've, I've done my research and I've found men and women that have excelled in their fields and have figured things out, okay? Again, I go back to Dollar, Maxwell, um, you know, even Armstrong, Tesla, you know, guys that actually know what the hell's going on. Today, we don't have anybody, really, that knows how electrically that's what's going on, except for Dollar, and he's supposedly crazy. Any questions, hit me up on Facebook. I'm around. You know, I'm working more now, so, you know, it's going to be a little bit uh, spotty with my Facebook and stuff, but... Hit me up, okay? I've actually put in the time and done the research. I've even gone farther into lipos and stuff like that. 
Again, a lot of people vape on these things, but they just vape on them and don't give a shit, okay? I actually, literally, factually have done and put in the time to research everything about vaping, okay? Down to the products that are put into the juice, the batteries, the mods, electricity, and how batteries actually work and stuff like that. I mean, it, it's, it's one of those things. I've been doing it all of my life, and I, it's the way I have to be. I can't be any other way. I'm a retard cloud chaser, and I'm a tortured intelligence, okay? It's just, just the way it is. I hope everybody enjoyed the video, and I hope everybody's having a good time cloud chasing and working on their confidence. Hashtag Team CCI International. Hashtag Shots Fired. Clouds down.